There are some book clubs you go to just to read the books, but ours, we go to live them. Whoa! <laughs> we call our club Novel Adventures. When I heard that our old book club, funny, I don't remember the last time the four of us were there, but when I heard they'd chosen the autobiography of a feminist, I smiled. I wondered how we would each interpret the message, the manifesto and the meaning of the feminine mystique. For me, I remember my own mother's struggle. When she was at work, she felt guilty about not being at home. When she was at home, she felt guilty about not being at work. Joanna had all the issues of being a strong, independent woman who didn't need a man, and just how lonely that could feel. For Amy, it brought up all of her issues about feeling incomplete if she couldn't have a child. And for Lizzie, well... I just feel like I fundamentally don't understand. I can't imagine a time when people are telling women what they can't be. Right now, we can have a kid, or we can stay home, or we can work, or we can do all of those things, but it's up to us. Some of us are the daughters of the women's movement, and some are already the granddaughters. And things have changed since the 60s, Lizzie. These women had to fight for every scrap. But fight against who? Men. No, more like against old stereotypes. Or unfair expectations. And men who held women to old stereotypes and unfair expectations. Some men, counselor. <laughs> Which is why this book presents us with a challenge. I don't want to challenge, I'm tired. Oh, you and Mike have another wild night in the jacuzzi? <laughs> no, no, actually not for a couple of weeks. He's been up really late working on his computer. So I go to bed and I wait for him and then I fall asleep. It's romantic. And what's he been doing on his computer so late? Shh, don't. He's been working. These couples go through a phase when they're not connecting so well. Are you saying he's not attracted to me? No. Maybe. No! She's single. Don't listen to her. She doesn't understand. So even though Lizzie wasn't up for the challenge, we had to find an adventure. Mike and I just aren't having fun together anymore. And he keeps on giving me advice and telling me to get out there, go take a road trip, and break out of your shell. And let me tell you. After our cooking adventure, I took that lesson home. We've been doing a lot better in the baby making department. Any luck? No. But we've been having a lot more fun trying. So. <laughs> wow. So I took Mike's advice. And I bet you anything, tonight when I get home, Mike is still going to be on his computer. I don't think that an adventure with Betty Friedan and female empowerment is really going to make my marriage any better. Does that make sense? I have an idea. OK. My sister-in-law took me to this place once. It's sort of a reach in terms of the book, but it is definitely an adventure in female something or other. Define sort of a reach. Definitely a reach, a very long reach. Not totally. My sister-in-law says that the whole theory behind stripping and, and pole dancing... Is what? What, playing into every single male's fantasy about a woman? No, it's about embracing our bodies. That's what I said. It's about men thinking they can score us. No, us embracing our own bodies. My sister-in-law says our bodies create life and, and lust and love. What's your sister-in-law? Constitutional law professor. Oh. I think it looks like fun. Me too. Can you give me a minute here? Thank you. Typical Joanna. If any of us was going to do anything, she had to be the first. Even pole dancing. I'm not sure if Betty would have approved or disapproved of the pole dancing, but I'll bet she would have approved of us having a good time. We didn't solve any women's issues that day, but Amy seemed to feel about as comfortable on that pole as she felt in the kitchen. Whatever she and Gabe had been doing was paying off. Lizzie was Lizzie. And I have a feeling that she, like the good little book club member that she was, took her lessons home with her. Call. Please say the name tag. Office. <laughs> OK, calling. Lizzie? Mike, hi. OK, here's the deal. Uh, I want you to leave.
leave work at 5 p.m. tonight, and I want you to meet me at home, and then we're going to go out for a night on the town. <laughs> oh, and bring the Sky Roadster. It's such a cute car. Watch out, Mikey! <laughs> So, where are we going, sweetie? Connecting to OnStar. Thanks for calling OnStar, Mrs. McKenzie. How can I help you? I'm looking for a hotel room with 24-hour room service, an awesome stereo system, and a pole. I'm starting to like this book club. 